I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. Our number today is 855-660-4261. If you've got questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to learn more about the Angevity products, you can head over to uh, my website, brightsideben.com. You can check out our shopping cart, or you can click on the Join the Team link. Or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also check out my blog at pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories and blog posts, pharmacistben.com. All right, I want to continue talking about eye health today. We're talking about macular degeneration and glaucoma and cataracts. Last program, we talked about pigments, colored molecules that live in cells called rods and cones. They're especially located in the central part of the eye, especially in the area called the macula. Rods are, for the most part, involved in light vision. They typically only have one pigment. Cones, on the other hand, have three pigments, and that makes them very important for color vision. It also makes them important for daylight vision, as opposed to the rods, which are more involved in night in uh, nighttime and also in dim light vision. The rods have traditionally been, uh, been associated with seeing ghosts and peripheral vision. The Egyptians supposedly studied and taught initiates how to practice seeing peripherally activating the rods as opposed to the cones in the center of the eye. It was supposed to help, uh, to help uh, 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 initiates observe the visual world. If you look at a tree or you look at a person or a scene, keep your head straight. But attempt to see through your peripheral vision, oftentimes you can see emanations of light coming off of uh, trees or, or scenes or whatever it is you're looking at. That's called seeing with your rods. It's one way that you can activate the aura. The so-called aura can be observed by activating peripheral vision, and that has to do with using your rods as opposed to your cones. Cones are located in the central part of the eye, actually in the in the central part of the retina, which is in the back of the eye. And this is where the densest concentrations of pigments are, and this is where eating pigments, eating pigments in foods, fruits and vegetables, can really have a beneficial effect on eye health, especially in the area called the macula, the central part of the eye. Ultimately, these pigments come in through the diet, through vegetables and fruits, especially in the peels. And that makes the macula, in large part, composed of what we eat or in terms of what we supplement. The macula is technically called the macula lutea, because it's yellow, lutea means yellow in Latin, and contains large amounts of plant-derived nutrients called lutein, L-U-T-E-I-N. If you look at the Vision FX product from Longevity, you'll find lutein. The fact that lutein is only made by plants underscores the importance of making sure that you're eating lots of plant materials, eating lots of vegetables, and also eating animals that eat those plants, especially fish. Like salmon, for example, can contain significant amounts of lutein. However, as we'll be talking about here in a second, simply by eating lots of lutein and carotene-containing foods, that's not going to necessarily be enough to guarantee that you'll be enjoying the benefits of plant based nutrients. Lutein is an example of a carotenoid. Carotenoids are incredibly important. They're a class of colored plant substances. They're indispensable for the entire health of the body, for the health of every system in the body, but specifically carotenoids are important for eye health. There's over 600 different carotenoids found in nature. They're divided into two major classes. The first are called carotenes. Most people have heard heard of beta carotene. Beta carotene is the most famous of the carotenes. A few of the carotenoids which tend to absorb blue light have a special relationship to vitamin A. Beta carotene is a type of vitamin A. The body breaks up beta carotene into uh, two uh, two parts of vitamin A. Uh, Beta carotene is cleaved or, or chopped in half by enzymes to release two little sections of vitamin A. And that's one of the reasons why people will sometimes confuse beta carotene with vitamin A. Yesterday we had a a couple of guests on who were saying that you can use beta carotene instead of vitamin A or imply that you can use beta carotene instead of vitamin A. That's not really the case. And that's because not everybody has a well-developed capacity for cleaving that beta carotene or splitting that beta carotene to release the vitamin A molecules, especially if you have thyroid problems. If you're dealing with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroid, any kind of uh, depressed thyroid activity, you may have a problem breaking up beta carotene into its vitamin A components. Personally, I'm thinking 
you want to make sure that you're getting both beta carotene and vitamin A. There's other carotenoids that have uh, vitamin A activity. Beta carotene is the most famous, but there's three or four different carotenoids that will give you some vitamin A activity. In any case, beta carotene and beta carotene containing foods can have beneficial effects on eye health. There's another uh, carotenoid called xanthophyll. Xanthophyll tends to be more yellowish. Xanthophyll is actually Greek for yellow leaf. Xanthophyll also can have important benefits for eye health. Essentially, these substances that are so important for all, for all eye health issues are colored. They're all pigments. When I say pigments are colored, what I'm saying is that pigments absorb light, or rather fractions of light, sections of light, as we said yesterday and the day before, excuse me, the day before, visible light is divided into seven fractions or seven sections. We call those seven fractions of light colors. That's what a color is. It's one of those fractions, one of those seven fractions that compose visible light. If you ever had a prism, one of those little glass toys when you were a kid, I remember going to the museum when I was a little kid and, and seeing a prism, and that was I had to have that little piece of glass, and as soon as I bought that piece of glass, I spent hours playing with it, and I was so amazed. You could hold the thing up into the light, and, and you get this rainbow effect. And what happens is, is light goes into the glass that composes the prism, and the glass splits that light up into like seven different components, the colors of the rainbow. That's how a rainbow works. Instead of a, a prism, rainbows are created by droplets of moisture in the air. Droplets of moisture have this prism effect on sunlight. Sunlight comes through these droplets of moisture and these droplets of moisture split up the, the sunlight into its seven fractions and that's what we call the rainbow. We talk about eating the rainbow, we talk about eating those seven fractions that are trapped in various vegetables and, and peels of fruits. These fractions of light that we observe are what is not absorbed. That's what we, uh, the fractions of light that we observe are what is reflected by the pigments. If we're seeing blue, that blue is being reflected and all the other colors are absorbed. And so this whole property of selective absorption and reflection of light, various fractions of light is what gives pigment colors. When we see a color, blue or red or green or yellow, what we are seeing is the reflected, the non-absorbed fraction of light that's created by the ver uh, various atomic structures of these pigments. When we talk about atomic structures, don't get all freaked out about the science, uh, the, uh, the, the, the technical side of it. It's just like tinker toys. An atomic structure can be thought of like a tinker toy shape, and the various tinker toy shapes of these pigments is what accounts for whether or not a color or a fraction of light will be reflected or absorbed. When you think of vision and when you think of the eyes, when you think about pigments, you want to think about fats. This is so, so important. Pigments are absorbed by the fatty part of the body. That means if you have any liver problems or gallbladder problems or intestinal problems, you're not going to absorb these pigments. We're going to talk about how this relates to eye health, but right now I want to point out that the eyes are made up of a similar tissue to the skin. Everything we say about the eyes also applies to the skin. Skin and eyes are both outside the body. Skin and eyes are both subject to environmental elements. Just like the eyes are subject to high energy ultraviolet radiation from the sun, so is the skin. Macular degeneration is almost like a type of sunburn on the eyes. It's the net effect of the same kind of damage that occurs in the skin when we get a sunburn. So using, uh, using the same nutrients that protect the skin can also also protect the eyes. Using the same nutrients that protect the eyes can also protect the skin. That means eating the rainbow is going to prevent skin damage from the sun, just like it's going to prevent protect you from getting macular degeneration or cataracts or any other kind of eye disease. Using pigments, using colored vegetables, reds, oranges, greens, purples, will keep you from wrinkling. It will keep you from getting age spots. It will keep you from hyperpigmentation. It will keep you from skin laxity. All of the signs of, uh, of aging of the skin that are associated with sun damage can be protected, or you can protect yourself from those by using these kinds of pigments and also, also by supporting digestive health specifically in terms of absorbing fat absorption. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, our number 855-660-4261. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. 
Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before markets, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your Healthy Start Pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com at sonsoflibertyteam.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well. Free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800 346 6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800 346 6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800 34 No Tax or go to taxhelponline.com. That's taxhelponline.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. G-C-N. Great talk radio starts here. Reading from the journal Optometry in a study that was published in 2004. Visual function improves with lutein alone or lutein taken with other nutrients, even though further studies are needed with more patients of both genders and for longer periods of time to assess long-term effects of lutein and lutein with broad spect- a broad spectrum of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and the treatment of atrophic age-related macular degeneration is advised. And this is from the Journal of Optometry. Uh, April of 2004, the eyes respond to nutrients really, really well, and so does the skin. But here's the rub. Nutrients, antioxidants, pigments, lutein are all fat.
fatty. They require an effective fat metabolizing system. Pigments are fatty. That means fat absorption is important. Carotenoids and flavonoids and veggies require bile for absorption, require digestive enzymes for absorption, require a healthy pancreas for absorption, a healthy liver for absorption, stomach acid and a healthy stomach for absorption. If you have any kind of fat malabsorption issues, and that includes, by the way, fatty liver disease, which affects one-third of Americans, that's astounding right there, one out of three Americans has a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If you're dealing with any kind of fat malabsorption problem, you are going to be at risk for eye disease, and your eye doctor is not going to tell you about it. The gallbladder plays a really important role in fat absorption and the absorption of pigments and the absorption of fatty vitamins, all all that have eye health benefits. Even minerals like zinc and selenium and sulfur, which are important for eye health, require a healthy fat absorption system. The gallbladder plays an important role in storing bile for delivery into into the intestine. Bile itself is important and requires cholesterol for its manufacture. In fact, bile can be thought of as a type of cholesterol. That means cholesterol is important for fat absorption. If you are taking a statin drug via this mechanism of depriving yourself of cholesterol and fat absorption, you're at higher risk for cataracts and higher risk for eye disease. Cholesterol is a key player in fat absorption, and cholesterol metabolism shows up in macular degeneration as uh, complexes called drusen, D-R-U-S-E-N, that build up in the eye when you have macular degeneration. And drusen is a classic sign of disrupted cholesterol and fat metabolism. You can make your own pigment-rich foods with vegetables and coconut oils. This is especially important if you're dealing with a fat malabsorption problem. Add fresh, uh, add fresh coconut oil to, to uh, veggies, uh, like green veggies, orange veggies, red veggies, and then saute them up. You'll release those pigments into the coconut oil and make it easier for your body to absorb the pigments and the fatty nutrients. All the nutrients in general will be easy to absorb if you loosen them up a little bit with some with some heat and some coconut oil. Add fresh nutritional oils like Udo's Blend or, or perhaps grapeseed oil or hemp seed oil to your salads. Fats not only amplify flavors and make salads taste way more delicious, but you'll again help release some of those pigments and fatty nutrients into the oil and make it easier for your body to access them. This is especially true if you're dealing with pancreatic issues, gallbladder issues, liver issues, intestinal issues, stomach issues, or any kind of fat malabsorption absorption issues. You can also use vegetable waters or seaweed waters. That's where you take your vegetables and boil them or, or let them sit in water and then use that water as a, as a base for perhaps soup or as a base for gravies or even just to drink. Not only is this good for your eyes, but it'll also be good for your skin. As we said, anything that's going to be good for your eyes is also going to be good for your skin. It'll keep your skin from wrinkling. It'll keep your skin from burning the same way it protects your eyes. Of course, you should also use vegetable juices and vegetable soups. The the skin and the eyes especially love reds and oranges and yellows and to a certain extent purples, but especially red, orange, and yellow. Beyond Tangy Tangerine has lots of these pigments. There's another longevity product called Ultimate Youth, which is made with pigments from various fruits and vegetables. Ultimate Youth or Beyond Tangy Tangerine make great nutritional supplements for eye health and for skin health. Another very important strategy for dealing with or for preventing eye disease is to work on stabilizing your blood sugar. The eyes are one of the major targets of sugaring, glycation. Glycation or sugaring is the chemical reaction between sugar and protein, and eye tissue is extremely sensitive to this glycation reaction. Remember, the eyes are... They're an unbelievably nanostructured, nanoarchitecture. They're engineered and fine-tuned with gears and valves and elect- electrical wiring that has the most infinitesimal specifications. The human eye is around the size of a marble, but it's made up of muscles and layers and cells and valves and, and electrical wiring in the form of, of cells and nerves. There's at least 30 different working parts in terms of layers and muscles and nerves in, this, in the eye itself, in this tiny little space of the eyeball. Relative to most of the other structures in the body, say the skin or, or even the, the heart or the liver, the tolerances, the margins for error and, uh, uh, errors and dysfunctions is not very wide in the eye, so damage occurs very, very readily. However, 
eye cells heal quickly. This is one of the neat things about the body in general, but especially about the eye. Eye cells heal quickly. You can reverse eye disease relatively quickly, much quickly, much more quickly, more quickly than you can reverse disease in bigger systems of the body. Diabetes goes hand in hand with eye disease. Why do you think that is? Why do you think eye disease is one of the most common things that occurs to diabetics? It's because the eyes are very, very sensitive to glycation, very, very, very sensitive to sugaring reactions to high blood sugar. Diabetes goes hand in hand with eye disease and diabetes is in fact a leading cause of blindness. Keeping your intake of refined sugars low, keeping your intake of flour and cereal low, pasta, potatoes, keeping your intake of anything that messes up your blood sugar and that includes fruits by the way and fruit juices is advisable if you're dealing with any eye health issues. Use more protein. Use sugar metabolizing nutrients. They may not be associated directly with improvements in eye health, but via this mechanism of helping your body metabolize sugar, they can have some tremendous benefits for improving eye health and preventing or reversing eye disease. If you want a good health strategy for all health conditions, you might want to think about working with blood sugar and working with insulin, as we talk about on this program all the time, but especially if you're dealing with eye health issues. The B vitamins, especially B1, thiamine, B3, niacin, vitamin B12, these are all super important for eye health and for blood sugar control. Make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Chromium, Vanadium, and the Sweeties. The amino acid taurine, very, very interesting. Not only is it important for sugar metabolism, as it turns out, taurine is also a very important amino acid for the eyes. Taurine is the most electrically active of all the amino acids. That makes it super important for the brain if you're dealing with seizure disorders or, or bipolar disorders, both of which have an electrical conductivity of, or related to uh, defects in electrical conductivity. Taurine is important for the skin. You hardly ever hear about this amino acid for skin health, but taurine may be the most important amino acid for the skin. Taurine is certainly the most important amino acid for eye health. You can make your own taurine. Taurine can be made in the body. It's not technically an essential amino acid, but you've got to make sure that you're getting another important amino acid in order to make taurine, and that's the amino acid cysteine. Cysteine is important for eye health on its own, and cysteine can also help you make taurine. Cysteine is found in animal products mostly. Taurine is an important antioxidant as well. In fact, antioxidants and eye health also go hand in hand. There's a really interesting relationship between oxidation and eye disease. So making sure you're getting your antioxidants in addition to your pigments and your taurine and your uh, blood sugar control nutrients is also important. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this. Our number 855 this alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, buying them another sweater, game, or other holiday gift they didn't need was nice. But this season, why not take the easy road, the safer road, and the smarter road? Get those you love something they do need. Give the gift of preparedness with Freeze Dry Guy gift cards. Since 1970, the veteran-owned Freeze Dry Guy has been your trusted source for emergency preparedness with easy-to-make, delicious freeze-dried foods and dehydrated foods. These long-lasting foods are lifesavers, which come with added comfort, confidence, and convenience, perfect for any power outage, natural disaster, political crisis, or emergency at home, such as job loss or illness. Call Freeze Dry Guy now at 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. 
food or log on to freezedryguide.com. You can't predict what's going to happen to your loved ones, but when it does, you can have them ready with gift cards from freezedryguide.com. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapriate e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapriate e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapriate e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. According to the FBI, close to 400,000 burglaries take place in the United States between November and December each year. Seems burglars shop for the holidays, too, for easy targets. Here are a few things that you can do to lower the risk of a break-in. Lock doors and windows. Don't have newspapers and mail accumulate in front of your house. Don't announce your travel plans on social media. And plug in fake TV. Burglars love the dark. Fake TV is a bit like a light on a timer, but more convincing. Plugs into any outlet and simulates the colors and movement of a real TV. Burglars will see light and movement and likely move on to easier targets. Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and makes a great Christmas gift. Or it's perfect if you're traveling over the holidays or anytime. So before you leave your house looking like an empty, easy target, order Fake TV today. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. Back on the bright side, and we have a couple lines open for you at 855-660-4261. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com, where you'll find a shopping cart with all the longevity products and a Join the Team link that you can click on. If you want to start a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, or get your products at the wholesale price, of course, you can also enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $10 fee. That's all it's going to cost you, folks, a one-time $10 fee. You can write off your mileage. You can write off your samples. You can write off your products if you give enough of them away. You can write off your home office. All for a one-time $10 fee. Of course, you can also make, your mo- make some money selling the longevity products and also get your products at the wholesale price. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or by clicking on the Join the Team link on brightsideben.com. Okay, we are going to continue talking about eye health and using nutritional supplements for eye health. We'll talk a little bit about taurine on our next on our next uh, Brightside episode, and then we'll continue talking about supplements for eye health. If you're interested in purchasing the longevity product, the Vision FX, 
for eye disease and eye health. You'll get all the nutrients that we're talking about for eye disease, including beta, I'm sorry, including vitamin A in the beta carotene form, vitamin C, vitamin E. You'll get zinc and selenium and chromium, and you'll get that all important lutein pigment, the yellow pigment that's so important for protecting your eyes from macular de, uh, sorry, from, uh, uh, from macular degeneration, macular degeneration from really from all eye health, for all eye health issues. Uh, and you'll also get the, the bonus of protecting your skin. For you guys who sunburn readily, the Vision FX can protect your skin from sunburn and it can also protect your skin from some of the nasty effects associated with photo damage and accelerated aging from the sun. And that's the Vision FX product. You can read about it or find, about, find out all about it or purchase it off my webpage, brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Steve, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on, buddy? Yes, uh, hello, thank you. Uh, we had a question about uh, the pancreas. Uh, we have a friend who's uh, having problems. Uh, it may, may be inflammation of the pancreas. Hmm. Uh, I'm not certain. We don't have all the information, but um, we were wondering. Uh, he does uh, also smoke, but... Uh, well, that's it, not going to help him. No, yeah, I call, no. <laughs> that's not going to help anyway in any, for anything, really. Not, it's not directly going to affect the pancreas, but it's just a, it's just a nasty thing to do to your body. Uh, the pancreas, I call the pancreas the Mr. Cellophane of the body. It just doesn't get any respect, especially, and that's so, so unfortunate, especially considering the fact that the pancreas may be the most important gland in the body. It's hard to say what the most important system, gland, structure, organs of the body is, but a case can be made that it's the pancreas. People who have pancreatic cancer don't live very long. It's the most deadly form of cancer, and for good reason. The pancreas is well known for making insulin. Diabetics all know about the pancreas. But what a lot of folks don't realize is the pancreas is the largest, the most important, the most significant enzyme-producing gland in the body, enzyme-producing structure in the body. If you start to get into pancreatic problems, you are going to run into digestive problems, and that means digesting all foods, digesting, uh, especially digesting proteins and digesting fats. We've been spending all this time talking about eye health and, and fatty nutrients for the eyes. Well, if you've got a pancreatic issue, you are going to uh, eventually end up with an eye health issue as well, among other things. So what do you do for, uh, to develop, a, to support a healthy pancreas? Well, there's a lot of things you could do. First of all, you want to work on the digestive system, and that means starting off with chewing your food. The enzyme amylase, uh, the sugar metabolizing enzyme amylase is found both in the, is made by the pancreas and it's also made by salivary secretion. So by chewing your food really carefully and, and, and breaking up uh, sugars and starches, especially if you're eating breads and pastas and potatoes and, and cereals, you can take some of the load off of the pancreas. You can take some of the load off the amylase that's made by the pancreas and the pancreas won't have to work as hard. Chew your food, your pancreas won't have to work as hard. Second thing you could do is make sure that you're uh, supporting stomach health, and that means stomach acid especially. If I had any kind of pancreatic problems, I would be making sure that I was using apple cider vinegar after meals or even getting on a prescription for hydrochloric acid drops. You can also use something called betaine, B-E-T-A-I-N-E, betaine HCL. You'll find some of that in, the, in uh, Longevity, uh, Longevity's Ultimate Enzyme product, or you can just get betaine HCL on its own. When you acidify the stomach correctly, that helps the pancreas pancreas do its work correctly. Without having, a, without having enough stomach acid, the pancreas doesn't get the appropriate signals, and uh, you can end up with an inflamed pancreas. In fact, that's one of the most important causes of an inflamed pancreas is deficiencies in stomach acid. So working on the stomach is also important. It's number one, chewing your food. Number two, working on stomach health, and that means a betaine HCL or hydrochloric acid or uh, apple cider vinegar after meals. Then you can also use an enzyme blend called pancreatin. You can get pancreatin at a health food store. Uh, pancreatin is also found in the Longevity product. Uh, I believe they put it in the Ultimate Enzymes. The Ultimate Enzymes are just a wonderful all-around product for all digestive health issues. Uh, iodine can also be helpful for the pancreas. You may want to start using some iodine, nascent iodine or Lugol solution or iodorol or have your friend doing that. Uh, kelp and seaweed will also get you a little bit of iodine. 
And then last but most certainly not least for all pancreatic health issues, restricting, limiting your intake of foods, of sugary foods, uh, breads, pastas, cereals, all the foods that, uh, sp- uh, that uh, require insulin, uh, that can also have a beneficial effect on the pancreas. So got lots of strategies for, uh, for helping with the pancreas. Consider an inflamed pancreas to be an overworked pancreas. And by the time we get into our 40s or 50s, a lot of people have issues with uh, pancreatic inflammation. And that can show up as loose stools or diarrhea, problems with fat absorption, problems uh, with protein absorption, uh, problems with amino acid absorption. It just can just cause a whole mess because you're not, you're not going to be absorbing your nutrients, number one. And to- uh, food toxins can build up as food does not get processed in the intestine and in the stomach as effectively. So you can run into some really serious problems once the pancreas starts to go. And inflamed pancreas is the, the beginning signs of pancreatic dysfunction. Does that help you, Steve? Yes, very much. I sure appreciate it. One, one last thing, let me tell you. Uh, sometimes bicarbonate, taking a little a bit of sodium bicarbonate after meals can help the pancreas as well, especially uh, if the pancreas, once the pancreas is inflamed, you may have pancreas makes bicarbonate for neutralizing uh, uh, food as it leaves the stomach. And if you have a pancreas problem, you may have a bicarbonate problem, and that can also cause digestive issues. So maybe a little bit of sodium bicarbonate an hour or so after meals. Make sure you don't use your sodium bicarbonate with meals because that can throw off uh, the acid that's required for protein absorb for protein digestion and for the absorption of minerals as well as B vitamins. So do so, a little bit of bicarbonate, maybe an hour to two hours after your meals. That can also help. Thanks so much for your call, Steve, and uh, good luck. And I hope we helped you out. All right, let's see, David in Tennessee. Welcome to the bright side. What's going on, David? David, David, going once, twice. All right, put David back on hold and take Rod in Florida. What's up, Rod? Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, we got to take a break, Rod. So we'll put you back on hold. We'll get you when we come back from our break. We'll get to David as well if he's still there. And then uh, Graziano in California, we'll get you too. Got a line open for you. Our number is 855-660-4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back after this. I tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products. And you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Thank you. 
what looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Yes, the gift of clean water. A gift that provides a great foundation for achieving good health in the lives of your loved ones. A Big Berkey water filter gives them protection from bacteria, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pesticides and herbicides, VOCs and more. And best of all, a Big Berkey water filter is a gift that lasts for many years with no additional investment. And that saves time and money in filter replacements that other water filters require and are even powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. As always, all orders over $50 are shipped free, and GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Order online at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, spelled Big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, WaterFilters.com, or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y. Gift well this Christmas. Give a Big Berkey water filter. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Hi, I'm Ed Crow. CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. Rod in Florida. What's up, my man? You there? Rodney in Florida. Hello, Rod. Rod, Rod. Going once, going twice. Rod? Hi, this is Rod from Florida. Hey, Rod. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I have a neutral bullet, and I was wondering about the enzymes and whether the high-speed um, teardown of the Mm-mm. of the nutrients has any effect on the enzymes. No, it's not going to do that. That won't do. It won't tear them up. Heat destroys enzymes. Um, you don't have to worry about the Nutribullet. The Nutribullet isn't even that that powerful. I don't believe. It's, it's not like a Vitamix or anything, is it? It's, it's a lower it's a lower grade Vitamix. It, it spins around uh, the, the uh, elements with the, with the with the blade. I don't think you have to. You're not going to have to worry about that with uh, with the enzymes. And you will probably won't even have to worry about it with anything. No, no problem there. And and how about aloe vera? Is it is awesome. it, uh, uh, the liver aloe vera? Is it a, is it a good supplement to put the oven? Is there any uh, side effects to the uh, internal? Negative. Aloe vera is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. It's the king of plant, the king of herbs. If you look at aloe vera, a picture of the aloe vera plant actually looks like a crown. And it is amazing, amazing stuff, topically as well as internally. Great for the digestive system, great for the skin, great for the eyes, great for pretty much everything. It's, it's amazing stuff. Add some aloe and go, go crazy with it. All right? And you can even grind it up and make yourself a little facial product, too, if you want to use it for your skin. Is it, is it more efficient to buy it with a powder and, and, and put water into it? No. Well, it's it? more efficient, but it's always best to go fresh. Actually, with aloe, you want to let the, you want to, the best way to use aloe is to break open the plant and let it react with the air a little bit. When you break open the plant, medicine is produced, and as that, uh, as that um, the inside of the plant, the aloe plant, is exposed to the air, enzymes are, are, are uh, created. Created not 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 only enzymes but bio, uh, various chemicals are created that can have some wonderful health benefits, but it has to react with the air. Uh, so you want to break open the plant. Ideally, you want to break open a fresh leaf or, or a, a fresh piece of aloe and let it react with the air, and then use that. Uh, if you if for efficiency's sake, the powder is a little bit more a little bit easier to use. But for potency, personally, I would be using the fresh the uh, fresh plant. If you want to, you want to buy, buy it. Uh, a commercial uh, entity is it, is it good to buy juice or, or, or the powder if you had the choice? Uh, I, 
would go with the juice. The powder's a little bit processed, and they use some heat. Uh, powder should be a last resort. It's a little bit more efficient, as I say. It's easier to travel with. But first, the best way is going to be to use it fresh. Uh, the next best way is probably the liquid, and then the, the least effective way is uh, the powder, although the powder is obviously the easiest to handle and the easiest to, to travel with. Uh, uh, it's much easier to work with, but uh, fresh is always going to be the best, and then liquid's uh, the second best. Okay? Bye. Thanks so much, Rod, from Florida. Have a good weekend. Good to talk to you. Uh, let's go to Graziano in California. Welcome to the Bright Side, Graziano. Hello. Hello, Graziano. Hey. What's up? Hey, man, how's it going? It's going good. How you doing, man? Good, good. Hey, I just had a quick question. I got so I got the survival shield from InfoWars and been using it on my family. Is that safe for the kids, too? You're talking about the iodine, right? Yeah, the iodine. Yeah, yeah, kids are great for kids, especially babies. Okay, dude. Especially fetuses, moms who are growing a baby in the womb. Iodine is important for eye health, for brain health. Uh, iodine is important for just all the glands in the body. You know, we get we talk about iodine for the thyroid gland, but a lot of folks don't realize iodine is important for all the glands, including the pancreas and the adrenal glands and the breasts, which have glandular tissue. Iodine is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And yes, kids need it as much as we do, as much as adults do. All right, cool. And then uh, same quick question. I have a friend. She's um, she's not bright side bent healthy, but she says she's healthy. Okay. Um, she works out. She does. She's thin. Um, she does Zumba all the time, runs, but she's got low iron. So okay. I don't know. She asked, like, how do you build up iron? iron? Well, you don't necessarily. Iron's a tricky one. Iron is um, is a, one of the metals. That we, a couple of days ago, we were talking about metals and and these metallic elements. Iron is, is super important, but it's also super reactive. So you've got to be very careful with supplemental iron or with increasing your iron. And most of the time when we have iron problems, or a lot of the time when we have iron problems, it's not because we're not getting enough iron as much as we're not absorbing or utilizing iron. And that has to do more with liver health and digestive health than it has to do with just taking in iron. So the first thing you want to do if you're concerned that you're not, uh, that somehow for whatever reason, I don't know, how does she know that she has an iron problem? Does she have a test? She probably, went to, the, uh, she probably went to the medical priest. Yeah, the medical deity, right? But but how did he? Ta- she she'd want to know. Usually they'll do a blood test, and that's not a very good indicator of how much iron is actually being used by the body or getting into the cells. Uh, so what I'd be doing is I'd be looking for other symptoms. This is always important when it comes to trying to uh, assess a condition in the body. Try to get a a bunch of different systems. You got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. You want to have a whole bunch of different uh, a whole a bunch of different sampling points, a whole bunch of different data points. Uh, most important important is always going to be digestive issues, um, especially around fat absorption when it comes to iron because the liver is intimately involved. The liver produces uh, substances that control how much iron will be absorbed. Liver, it, the liver is the key structure when it comes to iron metabolism. The intestines also involved, the stomach is also involved, but the liver is the key iron metabolizing structure, and almost all issues with iron have something to do with liver dysfunction, and considering that 30% of Americans are dealing with liver dysfunction, that's not unusual. So what I would ask, I would ask your friend to tell me about is her, uh, her menstrual cycles. That's a really good indicator if there's any kind of liver problems, if she has PMS or she has, uh, she's missing periods or heavy periods. All those can be an indicator of liver dysfunction. If she has any problems absorbing fats, if she feels uncomfortable after fatty foods, that's another indicator. If she's had a gallbladder removed, that's another red flag for uh, fat absorption problems and iron absorption problems and liver problems. So I would be focusing on all of those issues and trying to correct those issues before I started supplementing with iron. If you wanted, if, if she wants to get iron in her diet, I, you know, there's foods that she could use before she should use supplements. Organ meats are the best way to get iron into the system. Liver, especially, is a good source of iron. Uh, if she wants, um, if she wants to use plant iron, of course, spinach is is most is very well known. Kale also is very well known for being good sources of plant iron. Although animal-based iron products uh, is usually the best way to get iron into the system. But I'd be focusing on the liver, the gallbladder, the stomach, and the intestine, most importantly, when it comes to iron issues. Also, if she has blood issues, blood cell issues, that can uh, sometimes just be disguised as some kind of iron problem. A lot of times when there's problems with, with manufacturing blood cells or if there's an immune problem and blood cells are being destroyed, a lot of times that will look like an iron deficiency. So using the B vitamins, which are your blood vitamins, in addition to being your brain vitamins, can be very important. B12, folic acid, 
vitamin B1, vitamin B3 also can be very important. Focus number one on fat absorption, number two on the liver and the pancreas and the stomach and digestive issues, and then number three on building, um, helping the body make strong, healthy blood cells using the B vitamins. Uh, and then also vitamin C is also extremely important for improving the absorption of iron. Thanks for your call, Graziano. I hope I helped you out. Anything else you want to ask? Good, thanks. Okay, good deal. All right, uh, George in Canada. Welcome to the Bright Side. Got to go quick, buddy. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hello, George. What's up, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm calling for my mom, and uh, she's uh, 86, going on 87, and she has the osteo. Uh, I right. a lot of pains. A lot okay, a okay, couple things. Now, she's 86, 87, so I'm not going to give you the whole scoop about digestive system and everything else because that's yeah. really, really important. Yeah. No matter what I tell you to take in as in terms of foods, if she doesn't have... If she's not absorbing, she's not making stomach acid or digestive enzymes, she's going to run into a problem. So let me just give you some quick ideas for dealing with osteoarthritis for older folks who aren't necessarily going to be hip to changing their entire life and changing the way they eat and changing their whole, their whole life, their whole life, uh, lifestyle. Number one, bone soup. I don't know if you heard me talk about that. Uh, have her drop a chicken into a pot, simmer that chicken, uh, boil the chicken, and, and then simmer it for 8 to 12, 14 hours until it's cooked and the meat falls off the bones. Add apple cider vinegar to the water at the end right before you're ready to eat maybe a half hour to an hour before you're ready to eat throw in some veggies and and then that bone soup with the vegetables is a critical should be the main source of nutrients it could be a critical uh, uh, nutrient or nutritional supplement to take for building joints and for keeping the joints healthy uh, and I'd be, that should be her main source of nutrition. It's liquid protein. It's got all the factors that are coming in from the cartilage. The cartilage factors help support uh, joint strength. Great for the immune system. It's tasty. Everybody loves chicken soup. Uh, and it can, uh, a chicken, if she does it correctly, a chicken uh, can last her in terms of one or two meals a day. Can, uh, in, in a soup form, it can last her for a week or two. So bone soup number one. Uh, make sure she's getting enough essential fatty acids. Get her on the ultimate EFAs. Have her use three of them three times a day. Make sure she's using them with all her meals, get her on the ultimate enzymes from longevity, have her take the ultimate enzymes with her meals, and that will help her access nutrients from uh, from her uh, from her foods, as well as if she takes the enzymes on an empty stomach, you can have pain relieving and anti-inflammatory benefits too. Have her use the glucogel caps and have her take vitamin C with the glucogel caps and sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. She may also want to try 400 international units of vitamin E a day, and uh, it's mixed to cough roll form. That's those, that's those just a few things that you can do for osteoarthritis. There's tons of other things. Uh, but that, shall, that ought to get her started. And thanks so much for your call from Canada, George. Appreciate it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll uh, be at you on Monday with more information about the eyes. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before. 
war. It's time to survive. It's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com MyPatriotSupply.com 